your favorite scuba diver with Deep South Divers. Today we are looking at, uh, at gloves and glove liners. Um, they're called glove liners. I prefer to call them under gloves so that it's uh, not confused with the actual liner inside of the uh, inside of a glove. This is the Showa 720 that we've been talking about so much. This is on a uh, waterproof Ultima dry glove ring. Um, I've gone over these a bunch of times, so. Uh, I just want to go over uh, under gloves with you today. This, um, of course, I, I've been talking about how um, how uh, how much I like to use this glove without a liner at all. Uh, excuse me, without an under glove at all, because the glove already has an acrylic liner inside of it. So it's relatively warm as it is, um, and I like the uh, the feel and the dexterity of uh, of the glove using it under gloveless. But some of the popular options uh, for under gloves. Uh, include the, uh, the G1, uh, the uh, fourth element G1 glove liner, which is what you see right here. And of course, uh, the one that I've been recommending, which is uh, fourth element's uh, new Zero Therm glove, uh, brand new for 2019. And then uh, we were talking also about this Burton glove, uh, which is very similar to the, to the, uh, to the Zero Therm, about half the price. Uh, um, the G1 is sort of the standard right now. Uh, in undergloves. This is a 1.5 millimeter neoprene. Uh, they call it a foam, uh, I think they call it foam rubber, but it's, it's neoprene, it is wet suit material. The liner inside of it is uh, actually made of bamboo. So it's pretty interesting stuff, uh, but I'll give you a pretty good idea of, uh, of what, uh, what this includes. You see how it's real stretchy, uh, very much like a wetsuit. And uh, the nice thing about it is the lack of seams. These are stitched and then they're uh, taped over, they're glued over. Um, so basically what you get is you get kind of a no seam fit. You don't really feel those seams. And of course that can go right inside the, uh, right inside of the Showa 720. Um, I would probably upsize uh, this glove if I, if I was wearing these on a regular basis. It's kind of thick um, and uh, you sort of lose some dexterity with it. Uh, it would be very warm. Uh, the next one that I want to show you is that um, is the Zero Therm, which frankly I have favored uh, over this G1. This is uh, uh, this is uh, Polar Tech fleece. There's the same exact stuff that they're using on the Zero Therm undergarment. Um, I think it is thinner. I think this is probably uh, 100 weight or 200 weight uh, Polar Tech fleece. looks like on. I've been very happy with these, been very happy with the fit and finish. Slides into the glove much easier. I get a, a thinner, uh, simpler fit inside of the gloves that, that already fit me anyway. So that, that works pretty well. Um, to give you some idea of some specifics on this glove, you can see here the palm is, is all fabric and they do have High, on high wear areas, they have a silicone overlay, it's sort of a screen print on the thumb and the two fingers. Other than that, there's a screen print on the back, and that's about it. Um, and one of the things that, uh, that I, I did want to point out was, was the, the fit at the wrist cuff. Now, I've got a bunch of dives on this glove, but you can see the, the wrist cuff fits, and that gaps a little bit. Uh, not a big deal, still, still, still been my favorite glove, and uh, yesterday I got in, um, these new uh, Burton, uh, what they call power, uh, power stretch glove. This also is a Polar Tech material. And um, the palm on this has been inlaid with silicone quite a bit. Now these look thinner than the, um, than the, um, uh, than the Zero Therm gloves. But in looking at size and looking at, at thickness and that kind of stuff, they're real, real close, real similar. So whatever material um, uh, Fourth Element is using in these gloves, I'm pretty sure it's the same exact thing, just a Polar Tech fleece. And I'm getting a better fit out of this glove. Um, you can see there that, um, that the wrist gaps a whole lot less, and it's, it's very similar to this. And this palm, this sort of uh, silicone sticky palm, when it goes inside of the glove, 
It's a little tougher to put on and take off. Uh, mildly so, not an awful lot, but it helps to keep that glove exactly where it's supposed to be. So you don't ever get the glove walking off. You know, if you, if you reach up, sometimes the, the glove will inflate a little bit and you get this sort of annoying, uh, you know, the fingers don't match kind of feeling. And that doesn't really happen with this glove, um, with this underglove, because of the silicone overlay. So I'm really kind of liking that quite a bit. Um, I would recommend them. Uh, they're also about half price over the um, over the fourth element gloves. Fourth element gloves are going for about uh, 40 bucks, and uh, these Burtons are going for about 20. And now there's abbreviated sizes on these. There's only three sizes, and they just say um, and, you know they just go uh, small and then medium large and then uh, or I guess it's small, medium, large. But they they do this weird thing in between uh, where they say in between sizes. This is the largest glove that there is, and I normally wear size 10 XL. So if you have double X hands, you're gonna be, you're not gonna be able to get these gloves. Another thing that's kind of annoying are all these tags. I'm not, obviously I'm gonna cut all these tags off. They sort of drive me crazy. But uh, yeah, so they're not exactly designed for um, uh, for dry suit diving, but uh, that's something that um, uh, that I would recommend, especially because they're uh, half the price and available in four colors too, which is pretty interesting. Uh, and available everywhere. The zero thumb glove is tougher to find, especially uh, now. I think as, as the season progresses, as the 2019 season progresses, I think we'll probably end up having more, um, uh, more you know, availability of these zero thumb gloves. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.